I've got two new projectors to look at today, and I'm excited about them because we've been renovating for a while now. Maybe you've been following along on Instagram, and we put a lot of work into making this place look nice, so that it feels bright and colorful, and nothing spoils that more than a big black rectangle. We don't want to have a TV in every room. So having portable projectors that we can kind of move around really gives us a lot more flexibility. Just looking at inspiration photos on Pinterest, there's so many great ways to integrate a projector into a room. You can have a screen that pulls down from the ceiling or just project onto a blank white wall. There's a lot of options, but they can look so much cleaner than a TV. What I really can't wait for is the summer because we have a big screen we can set up in the backyard for movie nights, but it's still a little too cold for that. So in this video, I'm gonna show you two very different projectors. One is small and portable, can be moved around easily, runs on batteries. The other one's bigger and brighter and can be used for bigger spaces. Both of them are made by Nebula, who is sponsoring this video. And if that brand name is new to you, Nebula is made by Anchor. You've seen them before on this channel. They make awesome products, so you know they're gonna be good. Let's take a look at the Cosmos Laser 4K and the Capsule Laser 3. Let's start by looking at the projector that you might think of as a bit more conventional. This is the Cosmos Laser 4K, but there's a lot that really sets it apart from traditional projectors. So I've had other projectors in the past, but the biggest thing setting it apart here is the source of light, which as the name implies is lasers, which have some advantages over traditional lamps, like longer bulb lifespans, faster warm-up times, and brighter output. According to Nebula, up to 1.8 times brighter. Now, brightness isn't just about shining a bright light on you. I mean, actually right now it's lighting the whole room. That's how bright it can be. But it, it also means that when you're outside and it's still brighter out, you can see the image. It means you can throw it a further distance across the room. And also, the lasers are more power efficient. That's one of the most helpful things, and that's really gonna come around in handy once we talk about this smaller battery-powered version. That brightness translates into 1,840 lumens. And while we're talking about specs, let's go through some others. It can project images up to 4K, which you would expect from a high-end projector like this. It can fill a screen up to 150 inches, and that means you're gonna need a little more space than I have in this room here, but if you can find it, it's well worth it. Part of what I love about this design is that it's kind of asking to be picked up. It reminds me of old Macintosh designs where there's a, there's a handle, there's a big chunky handle, and this encourages you to move it around. Other projectors I've used in the past are really meant to be permanently mounted in one space, but what I like about this is it can be more of a community thing where you're bringing it into the room that you're gonna use it, bring it outside, it can be moved around easily, and is a much more versatile way of using a projector. Another big advantage of the Cosmos 4K laser is that it's a smart projector, so it has Android TV built into it, meaning you can do a lot, probably almost everything you need to do without ever plugging in an HDMI. With my old projector, it meant I always had to have a laptop handy with an HDMI out, like I had to be ready to send a signal into it. With Android TV built in, it means you can use Netflix, YouTube, Apple TV, Disney+, Plus, Paramount+, Plus. All, all, all the things out there. There's also dedicated buttons on the remote for this. You have YouTube, Netflix, Prime Video, and Disney Plus. And it's a nice little remote. It also has like the Google Assistant button. So if I just press it, I can say, search for Tyler Stallman on YouTube. Sure, here are some videos. Oh, and that reminds me, this also has really decent built-in speakers. The problem with YouTube and video is it's really hard to demonstrate them because it's always filtered through whatever speakers you're using. So I'm actually not gonna try, but they sound good, like a large laptop is kind of how I would describe it. It's not gonna be hi-fi, but it definitely is usable in many situations. Again, before with my old projector, I had to bring speakers with me just to hear any audio at all. So this is a big step up. It actually sounds pretty good. Another much appreciated feature is that it has auto keystone in. So as soon as I move it and I change the angle of the projection, it can detect that it's a different angle on the screen. So right now, it's showing a grid pattern and it'll start to autofocus on its own, eventually landing on what is perfectly in focus and also correct the corners to be perfectly level. Often this is a manual process and I'm just really happy to never have to do that again. <laughs> I remember in the past I'd be going all the way up to the screen and looking really closely to check the focus. Then I'd run back to the projector, adjust it a little bit, check the screen. This is just in focus. And it's doing that with, well, one of these is a camera. I, I don't know which one's a camera, but it can just, it can see the screen. <laughs> so we have an all-in-one unit that can really handle virtually everything you need to do automatically 
built-in Wi-Fi, built-in Android TV. And again, that laser advantage of being brighter with more energy efficient and also better color accuracy. But let's move on to the stranger of the two. This is the Capsule 3 laser. It's like a big pop can and a full-on projector inside with built-in speakers and it totally blows me away. And looking at it, you'll probably notice one other thing. It is the Transformers Very Limited Edition. So if you want one, you're gonna have to pick it up right now. And by the way, for both of these, there is an offer code in the description below that's gonna save you a whole bunch of money and bring the prices way down. So definitely use it if you're gonna pick them up. Using the Capsule 3 feels a lot like its bigger brother. Everything is built in, so you can plug in an HDMI, but you really don't have to. Again, it's running Android TV, so it's got all of the streaming services you'd want. There are controls on the top of it, so you can navigate the menus. Or what I like to do is use the Nebula app on my phone, and that gives me all of the same button controls to navigate around. It charges over USB-C, or you can use the internal batteries, which will last about two and a half hours, just long enough to watch most movies out there. And obviously the whole battery thing, like that's the killer feature here. It means you can take this camping, you can put it in a bedroom. I mean, that's kind of how we're gonna end up using it is putting it in a room where we don't want there to be a TV and it can usually live in the drawer. And when we wanna use it, we can pull it out. And on the bottom, you'll find there's a standard quarter 20 thread. That's what most photography equipment uses. So I can actually use this little ball head that is meant to be used for a camera and screw it on. And then I can point it in any direction I want. I can also put it on a light stand. There's a lot of different ways that you could easily mount this using standard equipment. And then it can just come out for special occasions and you can put it away when you're not using it. That's the whole idea of a small portable projector like this. The built-in speakers, well, it's not as loud as the Cosmos obviously, but it is gonna be louder than your iPhone. So if you've ever sat there watching a movie on your phone, it's louder than that. But it does also have an auxiliary output on the back. So you can run it into normal speakers if you prefer. Now, even though these are two very different products, I wanted to give you a sense of the brightness difference. So. Here they are side by side. You can see the Cosmos is clearly a lot brighter. These are at the exact same camera settings. As always, it's nearly impossible to demonstrate a projector because once you put it on YouTube, it just looks like there's a black frame around a video interface. But anyway, you can see there's a pretty substantial difference between the two. Of course, if I adjust the settings of the camera, you can see the Capsule 3 is absolutely bright enough for viewing. It just is relatively not quite as bright as that Cosmo. So typically that just means you're gonna to wanna to use it in a smaller space where it's nearer to the screen, then it's gonna be plenty bright enough. Both of these projectors are super versatile, so you can fit them into kind of any room or viewing environment. And I really appreciate that they are laser-based. Like another advantage of that is that lamp-based projectors will often dim after about like three years, the more you run it, the dimmer that lamp's gonna get. Lasers last quite a bit longer. They have brighter output, better energy efficiency, and a better color response. Be sure to use those discount codes. You can save hundreds of dollars with them. And if you're into that Transformers one, there are only 4,000 units worldwide, so it's very limited edition. It's gonna go fast. You should jump on it right away. Hopefully this was a helpful video for you guys. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.